something just caught my eye. The Lego in the Walmart. Ready to be stickered. Sweet. Brick Addicts Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen and friends from all over the world. What is wrong with this picture? The Walmart needs stickered. So join me today, will you? While we sticker the Walmart. All right, Walmart is one of my favorite sets, along of course with the Lego store. So here we go. Let's see, so we start out with this huge sticker. Look how big that is. It's a massive size sticker. And we've got two. We've got one for the outside and one for the inside. So it's super important that we get this right and get it centered. It takes a little bit of concentration. Yeah, let's be honest, it takes a lot. So the easiest way to do stickers is to start from a corner. So pick a corner, kind of lock it down. Then with the other side, make sure it's straight. And a little bit of a crank in there we can kind of work out. And there we go, perfect. Inside while we're at it. Sticker numero uno. Put that right off the page. Sometimes stickers do not want to cooperate. So we just got to get the right angle. And once again, the corner theory here comes into place. Of course, all of our sets have the logo on the inside and the outside. So, okay, that's not lined up. Sometimes you want to hold the left side with your thumb. Locker right into place. And there's the inside sticker. So now, no matter whether you are inside or outside the Walmart, you know where you're at. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of stickers to go, so. Let's do the doors. Enter and exit. Which we'll go with the same theory of driving a car. How about that? Right side, we'll say right side is enter, left side is exit. Definitely want to get these perfectly straight. And you want to make sure that you've at least got your finger under part of the sticker until you know it's straight. That way, if you realize it's not straight, you can pull it off. There we go. Then the sticker that goes on the other side is gonna match perfectly to that. Now, oddly enough, we have even done stickers for the real Walmart. Let me switch hands here. We've done decals for actual Walmart stores. I don't think we've ever done an enter or an exit. But we have done basic decals. I think I'm gonna end up redoing that. Okay, so enter, exit. Do a quick little scan here. See if there's any others in the front. And I don't see any. Um, I should point this out. My favorite sticker to this whole set is the bounty, which we'll get to here in a few minutes. And um, I don't know if this one has the Dixie plates, but we've got one set that's got Dixie plates and I love it. It's so cool. But the bounty, amazing. And back, oh yeah, there's the, uh, there's the plates right there. And then I think that's the bounty. So a lot of stickering goes into this set. So we're gonna be here for a while. I told y'all we needed some more Walmart stickers, right? So here we go. Printing them. So here's how we design them on this software right here, Silhouette Studio. 
They print there. They cut right there. Fun stuff. And they turn out just like that. Whoa! Do your magic. Check that. Boy, that thing is fast. I love it. Literally, hot off the press. Here we come, Walmart, to finish you up. The right when you walk in, of course, you got that mat there, which is pretty cool. Um, the first thing you come to is going to be where the circulars go, which is these here. It's the weekly circulars, sales things, stuff like that. It goes right there. First thing they see when they walk in. In fact, I'll show you how that goes in a minute. And then you come to the DVD, the $5 DVDs. In fact, we're gonna add the stickers on for that. $5 favorite DVDs. I just gotta find one that's gonna pop off easy. Actually two, we need two for that. So this goes on the side, because the front and the back I have stuff up against them. And we're almost there. Okay, so $5 DVDs. Where does that go? That goes right there. So. Now we can put in our circulars, which goes right there. It's the first thing the customer sees when they walk in. We get one that is eluding us, and it is right there. So let's see if I can do a zoom here. So there's the circulars. Customer walks in, you got the circulars. So you walk in, and you're immediately hit with a very cool Walmart mat. Your circulars. Your $5 DVDs. Wait, there's more. Get it? As seen on TV, but wait, there's more. As seen on TV, goes right there. So that is your entrance section right there. You got the circulars, the $5 DVDs, and the As seen on TVs. All right, now we're all set. Got the hot off the press stickers. I'm amazed. I am impressed. You know, oddly enough, I've just never had time to watch that before. Can't even see that. I thought you were in the camera. There we go. That goes right here. There we go. Frozen foods. Love it. All right, now, one of my favorite aisles is the cereal aisle. This is pop. Mmm, good stuff. Good stuff. And see, technically, with this one, we could do it where someone grabs one off of the, uh, off of the rack, because they're all separate pieces. So, but obviously they couldn't get to those, but they could pull that And Cuckoo Puffs. We can even finish the cereal boxes. This is some kind of off-brand Captain Crunch. Oops, all berries. Oh man, here we go, Fruit Loops. Let's put it where you guys can see it. Come on, baby. How many of you guys enjoyed watching the sticker process? Because let me tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was fun. And, you know, out of all this time, I can't believe I never 
watch that happen. I can't believe I never watched that process. Normally I'm into stuff like that. Just always busy, so. Never had time, never had time. All right, there is the cereal. Oh, Bounty, there's where Bounty goes. It's one of my favorites. So keep in mind, I have never done this before. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take these off because the bounty simply just wraps around the stuff. And there we go. Wow. You know what? That was pretty easy. And it looks like two rolls of bounty. <laughs> Who would have known? Who would have known? Who would ever guess that the bounty would be that easy? Thanks. So now, the plate. Which is my favorite part of the stickered stuff on the set. These plates are cool. Very cool. I got that slightly off center. Some of these stickers are forgiving and some are not. Depends on which sticker sheet we use. Okay, plate number two. These look real with the stickers on them. Dixie plates. There we go. All right, so Dixie plates. My other favorite in this, aluminum foil. I think, I know now. Okay, so the, the aluminum foil goes up here. That's what it is. The aluminum foil right there. I'm just messing this all up. There we go, all right. I think we got it now. And voila, two rolls of aluminum foil, and here's what goes on at the bottom. The Ziploc bags. Ziploc. Voila. Okay, I've got the stickers for the cups now, and I wanted to show you this because it's a perfect example of if you're doing a sticker that's gonna wrap around a cup, it's gotta be angled. Why? Because since the curve, or since the uh, cup is not straight, you know, since it's curved like that, when you go to wrap it around, it's gonna follow the contour, just like that. So, and then, your final design. So let me show you again. So this particular st uh, sticker is printed like that. So if you're going around corners or anything like that, that's how you got to do it. In fact, I got it wrong. Let's see. This is only the second time I've applied a sticker like this. So you want to get the very front as straight as possible. Looks like a wing and just wrap it around, just like that. There you go, voila. Now we will put it where it goes. Now let's do some of the fun stuff. I guess it's all fun though, right? So I've got all kinds of sticker sheets to choose from here. We will do the Ollie, I guess that's called. Now this is where you really, really get into detail here. In fact, <laughs> I've never done Ollie before, so. I'm gonna snore on this or a skateboard. So I'm gonna have to find out the best way to do this. Goes all the way up through the lid apparently, and Ollie. 
There's the first one. It takes a long, long time to sticker these sets, especially something like a Walmart. I think the, uh, the Target set that we've got probably takes the longest because it's got many more parts, many more stickers. So in some cases it can take hours to sticker a set. Fun process, but extremely tedious. And yes, if you're interested in the business side of it, it is costly. Okay, this sticker is gonna be a pain. There we go. You know, it's funny, cause I was kind of dreading doing the Ollie, but that went okay. All right, got this. I have to look and see. Okay, the Zyrtec. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to do this without taking a bunch of pieces off. So this is Zyrtec. Green on green. Hopefully I don't mix or uh, get a bunch of them crooked. I already got that first Zyrtec a little bit crooked that one so and we're perfectionists so I'm sure I will go through and redo that all right what's this Claritin all right first row aside from a couple that's gonna need redone that Ollie there is gonna need redone all right band-aids Band-Aids. Band-Aids. In some cases, it might be easier to pull them off, but I'm going to try to avoid that. And you might say, well, if it's all one big piece, why are you not using... Just one big sticker sheet. And that's a good question. Technically we could, but normally we don't use one big piece. It's actually separate pieces, which would represent if a customer got like one box of band-aids off the shelf, there'd be one missing. So in this case, obviously you can't do that. So, um, so we normally have them separate, but I would guess we're probably out of parts for that. So instead of four one by ones, we've got one one by four. And this shelf is almost done. Besides going through and fixing a couple. And yeah, it would be a heck of a lot easier if it was all one sheet, obviously. You know, just one uh, one line up and then that would be it. But Okay, so there's that one. I'll go back and fix a few here in a little while. And now, this side. Oh, you know what? They probably go here. Okay. So what happens with a learning experience? So best way on these is line it up on one side and continue around. And there's Coke. Coke goes right there. I got my Sprite sticker handy. Sprite will go right here. You can also start from the middle and just try to keep it lined up. Yeah, that looks good. All right. There we have Sprite. Diet Coke. Never had it. Well, I tried it once. Not real big into diet. And then I heard they, uh, <clears throat> all the stuff about aspartame so, never tried it. And then, actually since then I've heard they stopped using it, so 
You got no idea. Not a big soda drinker. If anyone has paid a lot of attention in some of the videos, you'll see I'm always drinking tea. All right, Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna have to replace that bottom part because it broke. See, I knew these sodas had a bigger sticker on them. Cases. Mountain Dew 12 pack. Sweet. Um, all right, so let's pop each of these off. These are pretty simple to do here. Pepsi. Pepsi root beer. And those can go right there. Crush. You know what? I don't think I've had crush since I was a kid. No reason. No particular reason. Got to have it where the uh, logo is facing front. Come on, Crush. Crush, I got a crush on you. Dr. Pepper. Super 8. Oh, that's funny. The, uh, the sticker is causing them to not want to fit. Okay. Got one more to go. Keep in mind, we uh, got the first four of these with the uh, first sticker sheet that we had. And there we go. The soda aisle is complete and ready. And that one goes right there. And of course, on the flip side, you get the medicine, the band-aids and all that good stuff. So that goes right there. Come on. And that one will go. Right here. No, let's let's look at that again. I love those plates. Those plates are my absolute favorite. And the bounty. Bounty's pretty cool too. So, all right. We're just moving right along. All right, so we jumped ahead. We stickered some stuff and we still got a bunch to go. So, oops, I forgot those were loose. So here's what I did. I added the stickers for the aluminum foil, the bounty, the cups, my favorite, which is the plates. Absolutely love those plates. Why? Because they look real. The sticker makes his look real. And of course the zipper bags. Flip to the other side and I added the stickers for the cereal. So now let's show you this. Got the soda in bottles and the soda in the um, cases. On this side, oh, looks like somebody got something off the shelf. Equate, Band-Aid, Zyrtec, Claritin, all that good stuff. It's probably gonna be easier to pop these out for these. All four sides get a sticker with a lane number on it. Lane number two. It's right in there. And lane number one. Lane number one. Takes a little bit of precision. Just gotta pull them off the page. We'll stick it right there. Stick this one here. So what I'm trying to do is line them up at the bottom. And lane number two was a little bit off, so we might have to go back and redo those, which is okay. And there is lane number one, and that goes right there. So now we need to do the registers. And of course, 
these high tech cash registers get a credit card thing, credit card system, and a screen. All right, so the credit card system needs to go on the side of the customer, of course, because that's where they're standing when they use it. Thankfully, the stickers come off easy if pulled. There we go, that looks good. And then the Walmart screen. What I always say, a business has got to have a cash register to make money. So there we go. All right, so now let's put some flash on it. And in this case, these go right here. Same color as the tile they are going on to. So perfect. So there you have that. A fully functional cash register for Walmart. And there's number one, which goes right there. We gotta stick the Walmart sign on that one. And voila, there we go. Okay. Now we are ready for register number two. Register number two. We gotta give a little bit of space for the shopping carts. And there we go. Let's sticker the red ones. Red. Box. Okay. So the red box, relatively simple. You know, it's funny because back in the day when red box came out, I think I was probably renting about 10 DVDs a day back then. Memories. All right, we got a bunch of extra stickers through here real quick and see if we got any red box on them and we don't but no worries my friends got a whole bunch right here so let's see talking out loud okay so for this piece Take that off, pop that on. Here we go. Didn't even see that. Right there. And then taking into consideration the frame of the window, you want to kind of go in the very center of everything. So, not up to any edges. And there's your movies. Put the glass over it. And voila, voila. And then your screen and control center. I know it seems like I'm pretty good at stickering, but actually I haven't stickered very much at all. So let's see. I always want to use an outer line as a reference if possible. So let's see. There we go. So there's the control center. And we're not done yet. DVD Reynolds goes right here. Might have to trim this down just a little bit. Trim that down just a hair, which we'll do in a few minutes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a red piece to that. That's what I'll do. Okay, this piece here, which is the DVD return. Get this right there. Blu-ray inside. Get this right there. Now, so we've got that side on. Got a 
do the other side. Sometimes the stickers can be a little tricky. And in fact, this one is gonna be fun if you do. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. And then when we put this on, it'll look just fine. Now, since we're gonna add a piece to that, we don't want to stick her up on that yet, so. Or at all, I should say. Find the edge. Okay, so red box minus the piece I'm gonna add, throw up in there. And red box, I think it's completely stickered, unless I missed anything. I think we got it. And I'm not bracing them down right now. There's a reason for that. But nevertheless, you know what? I am missing some stickers right here. So we gotta add the pickup section. So let's pop them out. These goes all right here for pickup. Overlap the bottom, so we'll put it right here. And voila. Okay, so now we've got to put the numbers on each of the doors. So let's start with this. Number one. These are so big, there's just no way to forget. When you go in to get your pickups or your Walmart layaways or whatever these are used for, there's just no way to miss them. If they tell you number two, you know where number two is. Now, technically, we could go crisscross, which maybe I should ask you guys what I should do. Should we just go straight down? Should we go crisscross? You know what, I think if we wanted to change them, we could just change the doors. Probably not that big a deal. I do like this section, I think it's pretty cool. And there we go. If you want to pick up your, I guess it's um, layaways or whatever they put in that, then there you go, now you can do it. I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's anything else. I've still got stickers. Mm, oh, fresh produce for sure. Let's put this one right here. And this is a white one, so there would be zero forgiveness if I got that crooked. Fresh produce. Okay, frozen snacks. Over here, very conveniently on the same sticker sheet. And I am lining up with that particular line of bricks. Frozen snacks, I gotta fix that. Might as well throw these on here too. So if this is a, what is that? That is exit from the outside. So that would make that and enter from the inside, I do believe. I'm not sure how that is. <laughs> Let's pop that door off. So we can really, really get it good. Do it just like this. Logo. See, one thing that kind of helps with the set so you don't see white on one side is having the same sticker on both sides. Pop it off. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> same thing on this side. So we're basically covering the white. And let's see, what is this? Exit. And you know, this probably technically isn't 
the way it should go. So, because I think enter would be the flow of this way in, that would be exit. So, but you know what? We need to we need to fix that because those are not straight, and I didn't do that. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Stickering the Walmart. It's got some of my favorite stickers in it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button below. If you haven't subscribed, please smash that like button. If you like to see behind the scenes vlogs, click right there or right there. If you like to see detailed sets like this, Click right there or right there, wherever it's at. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching today. And we will see you soon. Check that. Boy, that thing is fast. Look at it go. Such fine detail.